Hello and welcome. Man, oh man, do we have a fun show today for everyone out there. We got some ghost tequila craziness at a little photo art show house party I held this month. We get to go visit a great local artist, Azul Isa Gutierrez at the Kilowatt Brewery. Then finally, onto a very sexy photo shoot I did with the model Jennifer Ferris in the La Jolla Cove. But first on the agenda is I would like to announce the winner of the Name That Photo contest I ran this month. I asked everyone out there to come up with a creative name for this sunset photo in OB. There were some great submissions, but there can only be one. And that winner is Brent Koenig from Bay Park, San Diego, who gave the name Pretty in Pink. Thanks so much, Brent. Your print will be mailed out to you. Remember, you can take this print and you can fit it directly into a 20 by 30 inch frame, or you can go a little larger with the 24 by 36 inch frame so you can add a mat to it. Enjoy. Okay, so I decided to hold a little soiree at my place to display some new prints I had for sale. It was a really fun time, and I appreciate all my friends and clients who were able to stop by and even pick up some photo art for themselves. We had some delicious beer supplied by Kilowatt Brewing. Many thanks, guys. Then we also decided to set up a photo booth room with tequila provided by Ghost Tequila, and needless to say, shots of tequila always lead to some craziness. Check out this photo slideshow of some of the festivities. Time to meet some other local artists. Recently, I had the great opportunity to meet with, up with artist Azul Isa Gutierrez at the Kilowatt Brewery to chat with her about some of the recent murals she did for the brewery at their Kearney Mesa headquarters and also at the OB tasting room. Check it out. Hello, my name is Azul. Um, I am originally from Mexico and I've been living in San Diego for about a year now. Um, I've been doing art since I was a kid. My mom's an artist and I can't remember a time when I wasn't doing art. I'm always painting, doing something creative. I love murals, painting art out anywhere I can, painting just about anything. Um, so I got introduced to Kilowatt through some friends and uh, the owners that were friends of friends and through my boyfriend. Um, and I got started painting the mural outside the OB brewery, the alley, and they, before they opened that tasting room, they were looking for artists to collaborate and to like making that whole side of the building just colorful and inspired by the brewery and OB. And so I just started painting this mural inspired by all the ingredients that make the beer. So I started painting these hops and then with that came tea leaves and some grapes and just um, the cocoa tree. Uh, just thinking about all the ingredients and it just became like this very colorful, very psychedelic uh, inspired mural that I, I think fit uh, Kilowatt pretty perfectly. <laughs> um, and then I named it Kaleidoscopic Fruits of the Earth. And then from there I just kept doing more art with them and um, right now I'm working on this wall which is the inside of the um, location in Kearney Mesa and um, it's, uh, it's just a backdrop for other art to be hung for other artists to add more color and just kind of create that fusion of art that's in OB and bring it over to Kearney Mesa and um, yeah so uh, that's pretty much my journey with Kilowatt. Uh, so make sure you come out to OB or Kiri Mesa out here. Uh, they're both awesome spots to come enjoy an amazing 
beer. Uh, so um, again, my name's Azul. Uh, if you want to see more of my art, check it out on Facebook, Azul Nomad Art. And thank you. <laughs> okay. So if you've been following over the last several weeks, you've seen a lot of event photo shoots and even some family portraiture. But if you know me, Coco loves his modeling photo shoots. Check out some of the behind the scenes from my implied nude shoot with the amazing model Jennifer Ferris. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm John Cocosa. Uh, today we're down at the La Jolla Cove and we're gonna do a photo shoot with model uh, Jennifer Ferris. And I have Clint Jones helping me out. And I also have uh, Sarah si uh, Seiler? Seiler. And uh, my buddy Rob Salazar, who's a pro sub boarder. And what we're gonna do actually is, if you could see behind me, we are gonna use the backdrop of La Jolla Cove as uh, we're gonna float the model on sup boards out to these rock formations and put her up on the rock formations. I chose this time of day because I wanted this all in the shade. I didn't wanna have to deal with uh, hard light or any kind of sunshine because I'm not gonna be able to get reflectors out into the water. So I just wanted to have like an even tone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these sup boards. Uh, I'll be on the smaller board sitting with the water housing. We're gonna use the other one to ferry the model back and forth. And then we've got my water housing here, which is the, it's a Canon 7D Mark II with a 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 Canon lens inside. And it's in the Aquatech housing. Uh, now with the 70 to 200 millimeter, uh, the 7D Mark II is a crop sensor. So this is gonna magnify it out to about a 100 to 300 millimeter. So that's gonna, I'm gonna need to be about 15 feet or more away from the model, but this is totally new. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, is putting models, bikini models, in um, unique positions and on rock formations out in the middle of the water uh, so you see what the perspective is like from the water and not from land. Because everybody shoots in land, but we don't really ever see models out in the middle of the ocean. So let's see how the shots come out today. So, hope you enjoyed the video. 
as much as I enjoyed uh, photographing that, that was pretty fun. I've always wanted to do that for a long time. Uh, today we are joined by the model, Jennifer Ferris. So she's here in studio for a little interview. Um, so how long have you been modeling for? Um, I have been modeling, I mean, it's not professional all the time, but on and off for since I've been in San Diego, 2007, I guess. Oh, so 10 years. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're not going to say the age, no. Yeah. Um, so what did you, what did you think about the photo shoot? Uh, it was unique. It's the first time that I have done anything in water like that. I mean, I've been in like swimming pools, yeah. um, and on boats and I'm trying to think a bathtub once, but out in the open sea, that was new. Surrounded by sea lions and wildlife yes, and sea lions. Uh, and then the, uh, tourists taking pictures. That was, yeah, that was from new. Up, from up on the cliff. From up afar. Yeah. That, yeah. that was new for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was uh, the most difficult part of the shoot? Uh, I revert back to the sea. Um, I would say trying to balance my tush on a tiny rock while waves are crashing was probably the most difficult part. Um, yeah. Cold water? Cold water. It hits you and you just, ugh. Uh, that and you probably being on on the board as well. Yeah. I don't know, are we giving away secrets if I say that? No, no, they'll see. They, okay. see, they see it in the video. Uh, yeah, so between both of us, I think that... For me, anyways, was the most challenging. Cool. Um, so, where do you put yourself mentally when you need to um, go do like an implied nude shoot? Like you're kind of <laughs> out there bearing it all to the public. Yeah. You know, like where where do you have to kind of put yourself? A nudist colony. A nudist colony. That's where uh, you go first before you come to the <laughs> shoot with me. Oh no no no! Just mentally, mentally. Yeah, mentally. Uh, I don't. I'm not really sure. I guess. Picture everybody else naked is the standard answer. I am pretty comfortable with nudity, so it doesn't really bug me. Um, you grew up in Nor NorCal, right? I did. I grew up in Mendocino County. So. Okay, yeah. So there's that. Running um, through the fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's a birthday suit, so it's a suit of some sorts. It's what you were born in. Yeah. To me, it's not naked. It's your skin. That's uh, so I guess that's, yeah, maybe different for other people, but I really don't mind that much. Um, if, there were, if the crowd was closer, perhaps yeah. that would be different, but yeah. we're kind of secluded. It's not too bad. Yeah, there wasn't too many people. We're in the middle of the ocean. You're in the so. middle of the ocean. Um, so the long lenses out there, maybe. What was your favorite photo from the shoot? Um, I would say the one that you sent me that was black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I kind of think of myself as a tough girl sometimes. So to see like a really vulnerable photo and see that captured was was pretty cool. Um, There's a lot of really good ones because you're amazing. Thank you. But uh, yes, plug, plug. Um, but yeah, I think that one was my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, the background was beautiful. The backdrop was beautiful. Um, the position that you had me get into. Um, it just, yeah, I think the vulnerability, honestly. That's cool. Practicing being, you know, open and vulnerable in life and in the world. So to see that translate on film is cool. Yeah, that was one of my favorite shots as well. I was stoked. Um, so where can people follow you at? And are you available? Can other photographers book you? Like, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, so um, I, like I said, I've been modeling, you know, on and off or whatever since 2007. Um, I've shot with a lot of different photographers. You can follow me on Instagram. It's probably the easiest. Yeah. Where underscore is underscore Jen with two N's. Um, and a lot of my modeling photos go up there. Okay. And the, the message, you know, what is it? The little DM. Hit me in the DM. Hit you in the DM. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Uh, I won't be available to book for about the next 40 days. Okay. Why? Because um, I am leaving the country. <laughs> Uh, and I'm traveling east until I get back to this country. So um, I'll going be going around the world. I'll be going around the world in 40 days. Yeah, and there will be wow. pictures of that as well. So if you're interested in travel, you can also follow my Instagram for that. But so then follow, I'll be ready when I get back. Follow this beautiful woman around the world. You get to follow her around the world, <laughs> around the world. on her Instagram for the next 40 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll post starting tomorrow? Tomorrow. Starting wow. tomorrow, yes. Uh, the first part of the drive up to LA is happening tomorrow. Uh, the first flight leaves early Saturday morning. And then, I don't know if I want to share the countries or if I'll just do it as we go. But, yeah, just um, surprise them. Yeah, I'll yeah. surprise you. But um, I am, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. That's cool. Well, thanks so much, Jen, for being here today and right before your trip. And yes. thanks for doing the shoot. The photos, I was really stoked on them. And Me too. For Yeah, high five. There we go. One voyage, people. So make sure to check out Jen on Instagram. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks so much for checking out this week's episode. Make sure to watch some of my other videos on my YouTube channel or subscribe. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. 
comment, or even share the video. Because remember, sharing is caring, so let's make it viral. I'm John Cocosa, and I'll see you from behind the lens.